the Stoughton High girls basketball team looks to return to the postseason for the first time since the 2013-2014 season. Last year's team started strong but went winless down the stretch and will look for an improved showing in the second half of the season in order to make that push for the playoffs. The team is led by senior captain Lillian Najem along with junior captains Jordan Motley and Val Whalen. We caught up with coach Charmaine Steele Jordan and the captains to preview this upcoming season. We're really excited for the upcoming season. It's a new year, a new team. Um, the ladies have been working extremely hard and I'm just pumped to get going again this year. Well, we lost a lot of key players last year, for example, Alicia Quinones, but we have a lot of fresh legs this year with a lot of underclassmen that I think will really contribute to how our success, success this year. We have 18 games this season. We need to win half to make the tournament. Last year, we started off really strong, and we um, lost towards the end of the season. We want to just get those nine wins set in stone right off the bat. So, I feel like my co-captain Jordan Motley is going to get rebounds this year and going to get like gonna score baskets and maybe she'll get a lot of in ones. And my other co-captain Lily Najem is a very good shooter and she looks up and finds passes. So I feel like my the offense this year are gonna be a mix of players, but those two will definitely like make good on the scores. Warren Bertoletti, whatever you get her the ball, she'll know, she knows how to finish. We have Gabby, Diaz, and Haley Egan coming off the bench as guards. They're very quick as well. We have a very quick team. Jordan Motley, Val Whalen, uh, Lily Najem, Lindsay uh, McDonald. Um, I think they're going to be a big presence for us um, this upcoming year. And I have high expectations for them. They played in the system last year, so they have an even better understanding going into this season. And I think they all worked really hard on their game this summer, and it showed during tryouts. So I'm, I'm really excited you know, for what the, those young ladies have to bring to the table. Gabby Diaz, she's, she's really good at defense and will help, and she's really quick, so she'll help, help us with the people on other teams that have, we have trouble with. Well, we have three freshmen, Aliyah Wright, Cheyenne Trin, and Lexi Baptista that are really going to contribute to our success this year. Aliyah Wright and Cheyenne Trin, they are freshmen, but they're going to be very good on the court because they have good ball handling skills and they're very smart players. Cheyenne is a point guard. She handles the ball very well. She's very quick. Aliyah is a very versatile player. She can score. She can shoot. And Lexi, she's a, she's a fiend on defense, and she can really help us down there. We have three young ladies that um, we brought up this year uh, to participate in varsity and um, they each bring something different to the table, whether it's ball handling, whether it's shooting, scoring, um, or rebounding. And um, I think they're a nice addition and I think you know they're going to help us out a lot this year. Val is very enthusiastic, so we like that energy in practice. Um, Jordan and I like to organize events and get people started for warm-ups, and we like to count loud for stretches to get everyone pumped up for practice. Well, Lily is a great shooter, and she's, she's been working since last year, and she's, oh, she's overcome a lot of injuries, and she's coming back better than ever. And Val, she's, she's something else on defense, and even though she's a little aggressive, she knows how to get the ball moving and moving quickly. Well, what's really nice about our three captains is um, they had the opportunity to play for me last year. So um, I feel like we have nice continuity. And um, I think they're great leaders. Um, they're returners. Um, I think they bring great energy to the team, to the program. And their work ethic, you know, I can't speak enough about that. Um, I believe Stoughton High basketball is about working hard and digging in on defense, and they bring that energy. Well, this year um, we were able to get into a holiday tournament. So last year, you know, we, we kicked off the year with the five quick wins, came out the gates running, but then we had a bit of a break during Christmas, and I thought that hurt us momentum-wise. So I'm really excited that we're competing in the Rockland Christmas tournament. I think playing over the break will allow us to roll into the new year, you know, with some consistency. I think we have to stay consistent and stay together as a team and focus on that one goal, that, which is that nine wins, and never give up on that goal. 
Well, last year we didn't have that, we had a great first start in our season, but we didn't finish it as strong as we thought that we were going to. So I feel like this year, if we keep it strong throughout the whole entire season, then we'll have a great season. One of our goals will be to beat away since they made it to the Garden last year. And I feel like if we beat them, the starting out, like the first game of the season, then it'll be good. The team's goals most definitely are to get into the state tournament. I mean, nine wins get you in, but we'd like to strive to do better than just the nine. Um, we, we, missed, we missed it last year by two games. So, I mean, we were right there. You know, I could think of five games last year that if I look at stats, whether it was, you know, missed layups or free throws that we came up short on, you know, that was kind of the difference for us, you know, as to get into the tournament last year. And, um, you know, I just can't wait to get going again. I feel like it's been forever since we got an opportunity to step out on the court.